Hey, welcome to the AutoTech World YouTube channel. The customer complained that his 2008 Audi A4 B7 with the 2.0 liter turbo has low power and basically no power at highway speeds. In this video, I'll show you how I found and repaired the problem. I suspected it must have been something with the turbo. Since the check engine light was on, I checked for codes first. It had a bunch of codes including P0299, boost pressure regulation control range not reached. I figured all the other codes must be related to the boost pressure code. There is a service bulletin for this code stating that the turbocharger recirculation valve N249 is a very common failure. So I pulled out the recirculation valve which doesn't take long to see if it is broken. If you do not have a scan tool to check for codes, but your check engine light is on and your car lacks power, you can just pull out the recirculation valve and check it. You can also get some cheap readers on Amazon. There is some that you can connect to your phone via Bluetooth. Download an app and then just use your phone. I'll leave a link in the description. So here is how you'll do it. If you look from the top, it is in this area. If you look from underneath, it is right there. You can see the new part already installed. No worries though, I'll show you how it's done. So yeah, there is your oil pan, your drain bolt and the valve is right there. Start by undoing the wiring clip. It works really good with a pick from the back. Then you got three bolts that you have to undo. I'm using my quarter inch ratchet with a three inch extension and an adapter from quarter inch square drive to quarter inch hex drive. This Audi has five millimeter hex bolts. But some others apparently have T30 torque bolts. So let's get started. I'm starting with this one. I'm able to just break them loose with my quarter inch ratchet and then spin them out just by the extension that I had attached to my ratchet. Then I'm taking out this one, same idea, break it loose with a ratchet, undo the rest just by the extension attached to the socket. The last one is the top one, a little awkward to get at, since you can't see what you're actually doing. You just have to feel until the socket falls into the bolt. I'm just trying to line up the socket with the bolt here. Here is what I'm doing. This is your valve and then you lay your socket with the extension on the valve. And then you just kind of try to get the socket into the bolt. Also try to spin it while you're pushing forward. And then once you're lined up it will pop right into the bolt. And you'll know you're in when you won't be able to spin the extension anymore. Then you can just attach the ratchet and loosen the bolt. I'm loosening it with my ratchet. Now that it is loose, I can undo the bolt by hand. Once I got the bolt loose, I can remove the valve from the vehicle. When you have the valve removed from the vehicle, you can inspect it to see if that valve is actually damaged. To inspect it, you just look at the red diaphragm and see if you can find any tears. There it is, that is exactly where the problem lies. Let's compare it with the new one. It does not look exactly the same, but that is okay. The new one does not have the diaphragm that tears so easily. I got the part and the tools linked in the description. Feel free to check it out. Place the new recirculation valve into the turbo.
I'm starting with this bolt here, making sure the valve is lined up. I won't tighten it though, I'll leave it fairly loose yet. Then I'm running down this bolt all the way with my hand. And the last bit with the ratchet, because it got tight. But I won't tighten it yet. And last the top bolt again. You just have to feel for the hole and then turn the bolt in all the way. With all bolts started you can now tighten them. I just started tightening the top one since I had my socket already in it. Then I did this one. And then this one. The torque spec is 7 Newton meter or 62 inch pound. With all three bolts tight, you can now plug your wiring connector into the new turbocharger recirculation valve. With everything done, delete the codes with your scan tool if you have one. Take the car for a test drive at highway speeds and then come back and recheck for codes to make sure the code has not yet come back. Only the P1573 for the engine mount code came back on, but that we don't worry about for now. All the other codes didn't come back, they were all related to the boost pressure regulation control range not reached code. Problem fixed. If this video was any help to you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.